Yeah. Yes, what's on your mind? You... How can I help? We're can good. I... Good. Nobody wants to talk anymore. We'll see if Juhani wants to talk anymore, I guess. Double check on oh, everyone. I... Oh. Nope, she's good. Do you want to talk, Zalbar? We're oh. here. Anything about the planet we're on? I've been away from Kashik a long time, but things look the same as I left them. Slavers still hold my people prisoner. I'm not sure what I could tell you, or even what I would want to. We are an outsider here, too. It angers me. Tell me about yourself. Or don't. So we definitely got to bring Zalbar. We're on Kashik. It's just appropriate. I don't think T3 has anything for me. Candorous might have some uh, war stories he wants to talk about. That's right, Kill. That's right. Wookiees have southern accents. It's a fact. Yeah, what do you want? It has big trees, in case your eyes don't work anymore. Nice. But I do know that there is one exceptional race on this world. The Wookiees. The Wookiees, the Wookiees. although he primitive so compared crispy. to us, are surprisingly capable warriors. They're strong and pick up combat techniques pretty quickly. I think they're more than a match for the average Republic or Sith trooper. When we were looking for targets, we considered this world carefully. We were wondering if we'd have to use larger weapons than our war droids if we wanted to clear the damn forest so we could fight in the open. Too many trees oh. means they can go into hiding too easy. Monster. What's a continent or two turn to glass if we get the whole world after? Do you have anything else you want to ask? That was some good insight. That was kind of a war story. All right, um, I think I have upgrades to my lightsaber. Let's go ahead and pull these out. We'll stick with green. Create dragon pearl, yes, please. Whoops. Uh, robot, so three flat damage bonus, attack bonus, plus one damage. Massive criticals, 2d6. Op Opala's the best one, right? Or an extra 1d6 damage and attack bonus. Sigil or Opala? I think Opala is better. Um... Basilisk Saber, that's probably fine. Um, Actually, we're not going to be bringing Basila, so might as well take those out, because when we get Jolie, we'll probably be using him more often than we would Basila. Um... Bum. Yeah, I think we're all good here. Cool. Just a subtle upgrade to main player character's weapon. It's good. And we head to Kashyyyk. Jolie. So we want Jolie, 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 and Juhani. Uh. Yeah, we want Zalbar. Do we take HK? I think we take HK. Because we'll be leveling up. We'll be leveling up to 15 soon, so we'll be able to repair while we're out here. Greetings to you, uh, while I'm pleased to welcome you to planet G5623, I do not see your ship on my docking schedule. The Zerker Corporation will see to your needs, of course, but there will be a hundred granted docking fee in advance, I fear. Docking fee? Why do I need to pay that? The outpost is remote and expensive to maintain. The 100 credits given will ensure that it remains here for your use, of course. On collection of the correct fees, I will extend what resources in Circle Corporation can offer. I'm sure you understand. I don't think I need to pay the docking fee. Perhaps you don't need to pay the docking fee. Any services you need will more than make up for it. I see you have a Wookiee with you. Can I assume you understand their language? For a fee, for a fee Circle Corporation can provide the translator for you during your visit. Um, 
that will not be necessary. Very well, though only the most adapted people seem to comprehend the Wookiee language, such as it is. Now then, please follow me to our information center. I will follow any further questions there. Can Wookiees learn Galactic Basic? Are there any Wookiees that have learned Galactic Basic? Does anybody know? If you've got business with Zerka Corporation, take yeah. it to the director's office. I'm gonna bash this. Yeah. Bashing? Wow. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, come on. There we go. Interface visor, what is that? That's pretty good. It's pretty good. No, that's not what I wanted. Acknowledgement. Sure. Yeah. Not that I know of. That that would be kind of cool. I don't see why not. Yeah. It's, well, it's possible. Unless their vocal cords like just physically can't do that. But it looks like they have like they have humanoid anatomy. You think it's possible? Precludes them from speaking basic. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, it's Frodo Baggins. Frodo Midu. What do you want? I don't get a lot of time off of the loading cargo. So if you got something to say, make it quick. What do you do for Zerka Corporation? Oh, I'm not actually considered a real employee. At least not enough to get one of those uniforms they strut around in. I just load cargo. When the ship comes in, I work straight through the day, but mostly I just pass the time playing Pajak. Want a game? Uh, other questions. I will be a while before another ship comes in, so go ahead. I have some questions about Kashyyyk. Oh, what you mean, Aiden? I suppose rookies can call the planet whatever they want, but the company pays to name the trade routes. I don't know much about it, though. I stay here in Lower Cargo. You're better off asking the patrol guards or channels. Heard any off-planet rumors? I heard about Terrace, but I don't really know anyone from there, so I haven't paid attention. Does that sound bad? I just figure that whatever's going on, whoever is in charge will still always need someone to load crates. It's true. That's true. Uh, okay, I'm good. He just wants to play Pazak here on the loading pad? What? Why? No. How much money? Nah. Nah, I don't care. Comad the Nomad? Who's this guy? You cool, cool, no, no, bad. Hey, you here, man. I went to the call the hardest while us boat to this trouble. I've not been here long, but I can already see I will not be as welcome here as I hoped. What are you doing, Comad, following me? Well, I'm sure you would prove an interesting hunt. I don't track shit yet, right? Two legged animals do a fine job of killing each other without me. I've come here to seek even greater prey than that which we faced on Tatooine, but the climate here is politically cold, and I don't know if I will be allowed to hunt. Whose permission are you looking for? An astute question. A Zerka Corporation seems in control here, but they don't care if I wander the Shadowlands, so long as I have paid the docking fee. Instead, I hope to gain the trust of the native Wiki population. I'm not here to just kill the biggest thing I can find. I want to understand how they hunt. What are you doing to gain their trust? Very little. I'm sure they have had enough of off-worlders like the Zerka claiming good intentions. I will simply try to stay out of their way. I have heard of an off-worlder that has gained respect by living in the Shadowlands for some years. Perhaps I will attempt the same. I could just be Hunter Tales, though. What do you know of Kashyyyk? I know that I don't know enough. Even from the stocking area, I can see this world is a true wonder. My desert dimmed imagination didn't do it justice. It's just the same to see Zerka Corporation here. They lack an apprentice for the wild nature of this world. I don't like having to deal with them. Looking for a star map here. Have you heard anything? No, but I wasn't listening for such talk. I'm sorry that I can't help you. Not Zerka, who would you prefer to deal with? The native leadership of the Wookiees, of course. This is their world, after all. I can't understand why they have allowed it to be misused. Perhaps they had no choice. 
There is always the option to fight. Even if there is no option to win, of course, that is easy for me to show, being an outsider. I should hope, I would hope that not to complicit in the enslaving of the world, but it is not my place to judge. I have only just arrived. Um... Well, well, perhaps we will meet again. A great hunt on this world would be glorious. Oh, bye. Man, petition Bioware to add Comat as a companion. I don't deal with individual. You're probably here with a new restraining Stop yelling collars. at me. I'm not handling. Gashi, my home. I should have prepared you for coming here, but I don't know if I've prepared myself. Prepared me? What do you mean? I didn't leave Kashyyyk voluntarily. The mission must have told you how I was fleeing slavers, but there was more. I am in exile. The slavers on Kashyyyk only took me after I was forced to leave my village home 20 years ago. Why were you forced to leave? My brother made deals with the slavers and allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked him. The fight was stopped, but my father did not believe me when I told him about my brother's actions. I was made in exile, disowned by my home and people. I should not be here. They will not accept me back. Why didn't your father believe you? When I attacked my brother, I was so mad. I used my claws. You don't understand what that means to a Wookiee. Our claws are tools, not weapons. So use them in battle is to become an animal. It is madness without honor. I'm forever a mad claw in the eyes of my people. Nothing I say is to be trusted. They were right to cast me out. Time has passed. Things will have changed. The slavers are still here. This talk is theirs. I doubt anyone has risen to try and fight. Nothing has changed. I just hope I can prove myself to my people. It will be difficult to make them listen. I just don't know. We'll deal with that if we have to. Let's go. I don't have much hope. Does he want to talk now? Greetings Hello. to you. Hi. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Well, Matin is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. I think uh. you better talk to Eli directly. He's the boss for the time being. But I want to talk to you. I think you better talk. No. So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, Sounds look like well upon the wares of <laughs> Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. First off, hearts are all backside. <laughs> Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business, poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my man. money for a standard month now. Ah, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Who told him that was a good idea? I'm Lindoa. Let's see what you carry. Of course. You're in a hurry. Uh, I doubt he's got anything really good. I mean, that's pretty good, but I can't upgrade it. So it's like, eh, it probably falls off later. There's something on Kashyyyk that I need item-wise. Let me look up the... I have a hundred text messages right now. I have a hundred text messages right now. Mm, yes. Uh, let's see here. So the lower Shadowlands of Kashyyyk is where I get... The Circlet of Suresh. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing I'm really looking for. It's in the lower Shadowland, so like the very end of Kashyyyk. Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. 
I don't think it really has anything. Hello again? Value. You Might be... hurt me, Matten. What do you know of Kashyyyk? I don't concern myself with what goes on past this landing port. The walkies are mm, very difficult to deal with. No business sense. <laughs> he means they don't tolerate cheats. No, I mean they don't respect the finer points of a good business plan. Give and take. That's why the Zerka Corporation simply takes. What do you mean by that? You'd have to take your question to the Zerka Corporation and the walkies themselves. I keep to myself. I want to ask you other questions. Of course. I'm here to serve. Do you always enslave your debtors? Enslave? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man's fellows left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, I know. It's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you. Especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, Matten. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Do your debtors have a habit of running off? Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here. And not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use of you as a mechanic. Very rare to find skills of your kind out here. How much debt buys a man's life? Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matten is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> as I was saying, it's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. Hmm. Perhaps I could settle some of his debt? Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point exchanging debt to Eli with debt to you. Besides, he is a hard worker. I'd prefer to keep him. Um... Other of questions? Course. See you... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do I with these guys I think you better talk to Eli... Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do with them currently. But I think I like find out details and then I can like separate them. Or I can I can further interact with them. I forgot about these crates. These crates are satisfying. That's nice. Zerka scientist. Welcome to Adian. I trust you will find our facilities Adian. pass inspection. Zerka Corporation is very efficient. You have nothing to be proud of, fool. I'm sorry, I don't understand Wookie speak. Shiri Wook, I think it's called. What did the Wookie say? You work on Kashyyyk and don't understand the language? Zerka Corporation calls the planet Adian, and no, I don't understand the language. The local Wookie leader has made it so we don't need to. Wookies are unable to speak basic. But for the last decade, the residents of all local villages have been trained to understand it. What good would that do? It helps ease tensions. They are less hostile towards us if they understand what we say. And it makes my people more desirable as slaves. What did he say? I don't usually have a translator I can ask. <laughs> he wants to rip your legs off and beat you and beat you with them. I didn't say that. See, he's furious. I can barely control him. What are you doing? Stop this. Oh, call him off. I, I don't have anything to do with what happens on this planet. I'm just a glorified lab technician. What was that about? I don't like being used for your amusement. What, don't you want these fools, fools to fear you? I suppose so, but the presence here is no joke. See? Just leave me alone. I don't want any trouble. The guards are trigger happy as it is. Ah, There's so much to learn about this planet. But the is this <laughs> Greetings again! How can Zerka Corporation serve you during your visit to Edian? I need supplies. What is available here? For material goods, I would suggest you speak with the general vendor near the docking area. He keeps his store well stocked. 
They charge fair value for mundane goods and armor. If it is weapons you want, you will need to deal with a Zerka representative. That would be me. If you're here to purchase local species, however, you must wait for a licensed Zerka Corporation trader to return from deliveries outside the system. Purchase local species? What do you mean? It means that they are slavers. They take my people from their homes and sell them to the highest bidder. Your current Wookiee seems displeased with the situation, but I fail to see a concern. You seem to be a satisfied customer. That's what it sounds like, Dorzen. Zalbar is no slave. He has pledged a life debt to me. Ah, very difficult thing to stage. I commend you for it. So much easier than relying on restraining powers. Do not demean the life debt. Do not. I must warn you that you will be blamed for the actions of your Wookiee. Please, call him off. Hmm, why? I should let him kill a lot of you. I am merely a servant of the corporation. The Wookiee leadership is in agreement. Harvesting is made as delicate as possible. Commentary. The meatbag speaks without clarity. Detail this agreement or the master will splatter your organs all over the floor. Now, there's no call for that. It is a simple matter, really. We supply arms in exchange for a supply of healthy Wookiees. We are kept profitable and an agreeable leader is kept in power. It keeps the process from becoming a constant firefight. What is this leader's name? I believe his name is Chundar. I don't deal directly with him, thank goodness. Far too brutish. Uh, that was not the name I wanted to hear. Sounds as though your thrall has an opinion about our agreement with this leader, but it doesn't matter. Chundar is unquestioned. What about it, Zalbar? What's the matter? This is not something. <laughs> this is not something I will talk about. Not yet. Please, is there anything else I have work to do? I have other questions to ask. Um, tell me about the planet. You called it G5623 before. Numerical designation. Galactic basic name is Edian, chosen by corporate ballot among stockholders. It would seem you are already acquainted with this world, given your choice of traveling companion. I have been away for a very long time. Let the beast, beast speak for you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um... I'd like to talk about the sleeping operations. Can't allow this to continue. Backward citizens hold no rights. I'm sorry you are offended, but this operation is very humane. Even the Wookiee's leadership know it is more beneficial to work with us. Besides, even if you did do something drastic here, the Zerka Corporation has other outposts on your opinion. You can't change anything. Why do the Wookiees tolerate you doing this? It's not me personally. I merely represent Zerka Corporation at this outpost. There are other dictators at other stations in force. Rangers have been made, yada yada. Tell me about it. I might be more understanding if I know. Oh my gosh. You want to tell me about these agreements. I can tell you about the agreement. Supply arms in exchange for a supply of all the Wait, we've already been over this. Okay. Okay, okay. What weapons do you have available? Well, stock armory, there's a dog, at your leisure. Okay. Um, I don't think he's got a better blaster rifle. Both and Discord gun. I don't think that's better than the bowcaster, Savar's bowcaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got garbage. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, information on the star map. Lovely. I think that's it.
First hand exploration, huh? Dark side feelings coming out. Well, some that's what I'm saying. Some people deserve it. Some people deserve this, uh, deserve the fury. 